Well, how can I explain it? My body feels old, but my heart's young. <laughs> At 102, Irene Nobbs isn't letting her age get in the way of living. The secret to her long life, she says, is a glass or two of her favourite tipple every day. Yeah, I enjoyed drinking a glass of rosé. Does a glass of rosé help? Oh, definitely. <laughs> How often do you have it? I have it lunchtime, small glass, not a big one, small glass, and then in the evening for supper. I've got a wine cellar. <laughs> In my bedroom is a cabinet, and when the, the carers pour my wine out, they go, they go to the wine cellar. They go to the wine cellar, get the wine out. <laughs> and so, how many bottles I've got left there? <laughs> and Irene's not the only one enjoying growing older in this corner of Kent. In her village of Detling, women are living to the age of 95 on average the greatest life expectancy in England. I can't bear staying in bed. <laughs> Boring. At nearly 89, Margaret Cook has lived in Detling for 60 years. She survived cancer twice. You're still going strong? Yes, yes. What do you think that's down to? Um, refusing to give in. Why should I let it beat me down? And be thankful for each day I'm alive here still. I'm trying to lucky. Like her son, she thinks Detling's water is the key to the resident's longer life. It's filtered down through the chalk hills, chalk downs. So that takes out all the impurities. At the village pub, owners Tony and Kim believe people are simply too busy to feel old. It's stress-free, they're happy, they love the walks, and it may be something to do with the water. <laughs> One of Irene's proudest moments was getting a telegram from the Queen. Isn't that lovely? Look at that. It's beautiful, isn't it? She's now looking forward to turning 103. Settle Karia, News at 10, Kent.